ambitions, especially great ambitions, great goals that you set for yourself, right? They are fucking delusions. Yeah, but they're the best kind of delusion, okay? An ambition, a goal you set for yourself is something that, if you think about it, is just not real. It's something that you hope to achieve. So if you think about it, it's a delusion, an illusion, something that's not real, but you are striving towards it, right? Now, what's important in so many ambitions, or at least as far as I've noticed, is that, see, ambition, a great ambition, a great goal that you set for yourself, right? More than anything depends on belief, your belief, your belief in the insanity that has occurred to you. Because it's, it's a kind of insanity, it's a delusion, because it's not real and it's going to be incredibly difficult to achieve, especially a great goal. A great goal is going to be fucking almost impossible to achieve, right? And you are going to sacrifice so much time and effort and, and not just money, you're going to sacrifice friendships and relationships and a whole host of things that you will throw into the pyre that is this ambition. And it is going to be exceedingly difficult. And every step of the way, you're going to hear people saying that it can't be done. But of course, it can be done. You see, anything imagined by a man can be accomplished by a man. It's as simple as that. Okay? Anybody who claims otherwise doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about. I don't care how big your goal is, your dream is, it can be achieved. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, and I'm not saying that it can be achieved every time. Okay? No, of course not. But if you can dream it, you can be it. Yeah, absolutely. And if you have some goals and ambition, right? No matter how crazy it might sound, you have to know two things. Number one, you can achieve it. And number two, there are gonna be a whole shitload of people who are gonna be hell-bent for leather in trying to convince you that it cannot be achieved. You gotta stay away from these people. You gotta stay away from them like they are carrying the plague, see? Because these people will give you realistic reasons and very accurate reasons as to why some goal, some dream that you have cannot be achieved. The reasons are gonna be so fucking logical. They are gonna be so fucking logical and so rational and, and so on point that if you hang around such people they are going to wipe away your delusion that is your ambition. That's why they are so dangerous, you see? Because your ambition is a delusion. And seeing as you are likely sane and a normal human being, right? Not some crazy ass schizo or whatever. You, know, you, you hear the objections from rational people and you're going to start nodding along because they're right. And you're gonna start saying to yourself, yeah, I, I can't achieve this ambition this goal, this dream, this mountaintop. It, it cannot be achieved because these people who are smart and who care about me are telling me the reasons why it cannot be achieved and so it's fucking obvious and it can't be achieved and that's where you're dead. Yeah, because the, the second you start to agree with these very reasonable people telling you that some goal, some dream, some ambition cannot be achieved, that's when the delusion of your ambition pops. It pops like a daydream, like, like, you know, it just pops and it just vanishes and it's gone, see? And that's why you have to stay away from these people, see? They can mean uh, very well for you. They, they might want the best for you. They could be your parents or siblings or closest friends. But if you have a goal, an ambition, and you can achieve it, I mean, there is the realistic possibility that you can reach that mountaintop then you have to do the smart thing, the only thing, the, the, the thing necessary for the survival of this dream and cut off any kind of relationship with these people who are pulling you down, who are trying to you know, uh, uh, wake you up from your delusion that is your ambition. I mean, do keep in mind, lots of times, most of the times, the vast majority of the times, these people that say that no, that your dream or ambition can't be achieved, they don't say this out of malice. They are not trying to hurt you. They are, they are not trying to uh, um, strip you of your dream, okay? On the contrary, these people care about you, okay? And they want what's best for you. And, and a lot of times they, they see the difficulty of some dream or some goal, and perhaps they don't know enough about the minutia, the details, the little steps that you have to take in order to reach your ambition. And just from the outside, they say, no, it, it can't be done. You, you shouldn't do it. Don't do it because it's just not possible. And they are not telling you this out of malice. 
on the contrary, and in a way this is worse, see, they are telling you this out of love. And because see, the, the people who hate you and who are trying to pop your delusion, it's easy, it will be easy for you to discount them. It will be easy for you to spot people who are telling you out of malice or out of envy that your goal can't be reached. Because most of the time, their malice, their envy, it's quite obvious, right? And so you, you'll be able to discount it. You'll be able to spot it with experience, okay? You'll be able to realize that the reason they are telling you that some goal or some mountaintop cannot be achieved is because they themselves have some dream or some goal that they decided not to pursue. And they see you trying and they don't want you to succeed because if you succeed, it shows them up for failures. And so, of course, they'll, they'll try to pop your delusion. They'll try to make it clear to you how crazy you are to believe that you can achieve some goal or some ambition, right? And they'll always say the same things. They'll say, oh, it can't be achieved. Don't be stupid. Don't be dumb. Who do you think you are? You can't make it. Uh, those people, they're easy to spot. They're easy to discount and forget about and leave them behind in your rearview mirror. I mean, the fact of the matter is, you know, I mean, e even if they are not shitting on your dreams and ambitions, right? I mean, such people, you don't want them in your life, right? You don't. You, you want to kick them out of your life. I mean, leave them in the rear of your mirror, right? But, uh, but it's the people who love you. Well, they are the problem. With the people you love, what you have to do is convince them of the insanity of your dream. <laughs> it's as simple as that. See, if your ambition is a delusion, and it is, right? You have to show them how you can achieve this delusion and show them like every little step along the way in order to reach your goal, your dream, your mountaintop. Yeah? You have to explain to them that you're going to do this, the other, and the next, and this step, and finally you will reach your mountaintop. You have to explain it to them. You have to convince them. And you have to convince them as much as you can because you're going to need those people who love you. Because when things get dark on the road to your ambition, to your goal, you're going to need people who are as crazy as you are, who are as deluded as you are, more deluded than you. Because there will come moments when you will need the, the delusion of these people who love you to egg you on and give you encouragement so as to reach this goal. In a sense, you have to you know, make your dream, your insanity, your delusion, you have to make it contagious. And, and you have to get the people who love you to catch this insanity and be as crazy as you are. It's very necessary. Mm -hmm. It's very necessary to truly convince the people around you that you can achieve some goal. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you that if they do not believe you can achieve this goal, if they, if they truly, maybe they, they say that, oh, you know, they're, they're encouraging and all the rest of it, they say the words, but they don't really believe it, right? And you're going to realize this, you know? You really have to get them on board. Because if you don't, you know, their, their, their doubts, they will always weigh on you. And they will always, you know, take a little bit of the, of the wind out of your sails. Not a lot, it will just be a little bit. But it'll be enough. It'll be enough, and because you, you got to understand, a lot of times with some great goal, the difference between success and failure is inches, fractions of a single percentage point. Mm -hmm. well, that's the difference between success and failure. It, it, it's not like you, you fail by a mile. No, you fail by feet, by inches, by fractions of an inch. Yeah, and sometimes. The person closest to you, the, the person who claims to love you the most, who might actually be the person who loves you the most, but who doesn't believe in your delusion, oh, th th that will just be enough for you not to make it. Hmm? And that's why you have to be on your guard against the people who love you and whom you love. And, and this is the terrible truth about striving towards a great ambition. You read history and you're going to find that a lot of great men who were striving towards great goals, political goals, financial goals, whatever it was that they were striving towards, right? A lot of times you'll, you'll read how they cut off family members. Yeah. I mean, not in the Wikipedia entry of the person, but you, you start looking at their biographies, right? And you'll find out how a lot of times they decide to cut out somebody very close to them. 
you know, sometimes a spouse, sometimes a parent or parents, uh, siblings, close friends, it doesn't matter. You, you'll find this in their biography, when you go into the detailed biography, you know, those, those doorstopper biographies of whomever. And a lot of times you'll find out that they were very, very close to somebody when they were young. And they started to formulate some dream. And as they started to go towards that dream, and that dream became clearer in their imagination, there came a moment where they broke with somebody who was key in their life and left them behind. Or, or the relationship endured, but it was never the same. It was never as close as before. Yeah, that happens. And to tell you the truth, I think it's actually a necessary thing. If you feel that somebody doesn't really share your dream, the, somebody that, who loves you, of course, that you love, if they don't really share your dream and in a way they're kind of trying to constantly pop your delusion and bring you back to reality, then the smart thing might be to cut them off. It's a hard thing to cut out somebody who loves you. Mm -hmm. None of us is so rich that we can afford to lose somebody who truly loves us. Mm -mm. But sometimes it's necessary. Sometimes that person is just bringing you down. Sometimes they're bringing you down, and not in the sense of like, you know, they're a bummer and they're, you know, uh, you know, pulling you down like they're bad vibes or some shit like that. No, I mean in a serious sense, in the sense of like, they are pulling you down. They are keeping you from achieving your dream, your goal. And it is especially hurtful when that goal is achievable, when you can actually reach that mountaintop and it's this person who loves you, who keeps pulling you down, keeps pulling you down. And, you know, they, they say that they support you, but they really don't. You can see it in their eyes and you can hear it in the tone of their voice. They say that they support you and believe you and think that you can achieve something, but their eyes say no. The tone of their voice says no. Their actions say no. Yeah. You got to cut those people out because those people, much as you love them and they might love you, and hard as it is to come across people who truly love you, those people will only hurt you. Dreams are hard. Mm -hmm. Everybody says always, you know, oh, you should have dreams. Dreams and ambitions, they're a good thing. Fucking A, they're good. Yeah, because they give your life meaning, they give your life direction. Of course, they're good. That's not the point. The point is that they're hard, see? I mean, it's all good and fine to say that you should aim for some dream or some goal, but the costs, the human costs are enormous, especially the bigger goals that you have in life. The bigger the goal, you know, the more noble the dream, the harder it is, the more deluded you have to be, huh? because in, in this delusion, uh, this delusion that you can reach some goal. People are going to peel away. They're going to think that you're crazy. Now, it could be that you really are crazy, but that's the minority of the cases, the majority of the cases. No, it's just a really fucking hard dream, a really fucking hard mountaintop, but it can be achieved. But the harder it is, the greater the cost. The harder it is to achieve, and you'll find it, it's not so much the process of achieving the goal that's hard. No, what's hard is leaving behind the people who loved you. That, that's gonna be the hard part. And, and the only way to continue after such heartbreak is to more firmly convince yourself that this delusion, this dream that you have is achievable and that you can make it real. You can make it concrete.